Welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna be cooking something delicious. Now you guys have been asking me for this recipe and here it is. We're gonna be making some chicken mole. To start off, we're gonna need about four to five chicken quarters. Now all I did was just take them, remove the leg from the thigh, and that's how we're gonna make this dish. So we're gonna need some type of chocolate. I'm gonna be using a bar of Abuelita's chocolate. This actually makes some really good hot chocolate, but you could use a chocolate bar of your choice, but this is the one I'm going. This is about three ounces of chocolate, a half of a cup of almonds. Now you could substitute this for peanut butter, peanuts, whatever nut you have available. Uh, sesame seed works also. I'm gonna be using one plum, but many different recipes, they use prunes, you could use raisins. Uh, but I'm just going with a nice sweet plum today. It's two Roma tomatoes. I had a very large onion, so I used a quarter of it. But if you have a medium to a small size onion, I would do about a half of an onion. One birote or bolillo roll. Now, I'm going to be using this depending on how the texture looks. This is going to thicken it up. But you can replace this with a couple tortillas, corn tortillas. Two teaspoons of oregano. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Three garlic cloves. We're going to do about two teaspoons of Norse chicken bouillon. For the chile that we're using today, we're gonna to be, I'm using four chile California and four chile de anchos. Now the chile California, you can actually use guajillos. So all I did here was I boiled this for about 15 minutes and let it steep for about 10 minutes. In a pot of water, we're gonna be adding a little bit of Norse chicken bouillon, just to kind of season up our water a little bit. About two tablespoons is all we really need. I'm gonna use this for chicken broth. So some of this broth or stock, I'm gonna be putting in our salsa. Now we'll go ahead and add in our chicken. So now I'm gonna get our chicken on the stove. We're gonna let this cook for about 20 minutes after it starts boiling. You wanna make sure that your chicken is at least 165 degrees. All right, now that we have our chicken done, let's take our chiles and put them in our blender. Add in our onion. Now I did remove the pits from the tomatoes. Cinnamon, oregano, garlic, plum, almonds. And we'll break up our chocolate bar, chicken bouillon, about a cup of chicken broth that we just cooked up. Let's do about half of the virote. All right, let's go ahead and mix everything together. All right, so now let's check the consistency. This is nice and thick. That's what you want. It's kind of like a paste. Like how my aunts and them did it in Mexico, it would be a, a really thick paste. So this is kind of like what we're going for, a nice thick chili paste. Let me go ahead and taste this. Oh, that's money right there. Now in a saucepan over medium low heat, we're gonna add this in there. Now all we're doing is we're just gonna be cooking down the onion and the garlic and kind of just mix all the flavors in there. Cause right now the onion and garlic, it's kind of like a, like a spicy bite to it. So we're gonna, you know, just cook it a little bit just to tone that down a little bit. Now that it's coming up to temperature, stir occasionally. You don't want things to burn or get stuck. We do have chocolate in there. So just in case, you know, there might be some sugars in there. You don't want nothing burning. Man, let me tell you the smell of this. I just want to dip a tortilla in there and just eat it up. Si son pocho, pero sabroso. All right, so I had this simmering for about six minutes or so. Now let's just taste it to make sure that the, the bite from the garlic and the onion has calmed down. That's good right there. So right now at this moment, season to taste. If you feel it needs a little bit of uh, salt, go ahead and add salt to taste. Okay, I'm gonna just add a little bit of salt and just mix that well. Clean spoon, we're good. And that right there, folks, is how you make mole. Now we'll put down our chicken thigh and a leg. Now we'll just drench it with that salsa. Now to top it all off, we'll just sprinkle a little bit of sesame seeds right on top. Now this is a well-deserved bite. You wanna make sure that you put a little bit of extra sauce on there. Cheers, y'all. Great flavor, nice and sweet, savory. Chicken's perfectly cooked. This dish goes great with some Mexican rice and a side salad or even just refried beans, which I have both of those recipes on my channel. Check my Mexican playlist. 
As always, I'll leave the link in the video description and in the comment section so that you can go to my website, cookingwithkirby.com to get the full printable recipe. Now I have these recipes, they're really good. You should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful and take care. Estilo de pocho, pero bien sabroso. Mm -hmm.